It was a terrible tragedy. It was more than a tragedy. It was a travesty. Um, there are really no words. We, are, we always try to prepare for these incidences, but the truth of the matter is we never know if and when they will happen. This was a terrible attack. I understand it was one of the worst in the history of all attacks on Jewish institutions, and our hearts go out to all of the members of the congregation and community. It's something that many congregations do think of every Shabbat and every day of the week. Many institutions uh, that I'm familiar with in California uh, prepare. We have guards uh, during the week and during the holidays and on Shabbat. Uh, everyone understands that there's no such thing as 100% preparedness and nothing is 100% secure. But I think that institutions overall do the best that they can with the means that they have to provide as much security to their congregants and members. So do you feel that in America as well, institutions should be armed, should be you know, heavily guarded? Uh, that's a complicated question. Um, I think that institutions should do what they see fit in order to be prepared for any type of attack on their institution or harm that may come from any kind of organization, whether it's a terrorist organization, whether it's an anti-Semitic organization, uh, whether it is someone that has a grudge with the organization or the institution or the synagogue. And I think that it's very important that every synagogue think very carefully and very deeply and give a lot of thought to what kind of preparedness and security they all need. And does a case like this, you know, make people more afraid or is there a feeling that this was a one-time event of a person who had his issues? I think that this where it brings to light and brings to bear the uh, constant threat that is... Um, we try to forget about it, and we try not to think about it, and it's in our subconscious. I think that everyone is aware that institu Jewish institutions can be targets, and when something like this happens, clearly it brings to bear and it uh, you know, brings to our attention and heightened alert. And I'm sure that many institutions around the United States, Jewish institutions, are going to rethink what they're doing for their security. There's a lot of discussion these days about the divide in the Jewish people, reform, conservative, orthodox. Is there a feeling of unity? These are definitely days of unity. I think that there are days of unity not only between the reform and the conservative and the orthodox and the unaffiliated Jews. I think that it is a time of unity among all religions. There are churches that are attacked. There are synagogues that are attacked. And United States has a freedom of religion, and everyone has a right to feel secure and safe. So I would go even beyond the realm of the various categories, or what we call categories of religious Judaism, and expand it to any freedom of religion that there is. Our hearts go out, the Jewish people, and I'm sure all of the citizens of the United States, our hearts, our hearts go out to those that were injured and the families of those that were killed in the attack. Our prayers, our hearts are with you, and together we will stand strong.